start by bringing our attention into the physical body. Checking in with our posture. Becoming aware of the weight of the body. The sensation of the chair and our awareness of the body in the room. Giving ourselves this time for meditation, recognizing that all of the things that might grab our attention, we can pick those back up when we're finished. But now there's nothing to do or think about. So start gathering your attention, your concentration, your awareness, pulling it inward, reducing your engagement, objects of the senses, and any mental objects of past or future. And just start to use the physical sensation of the breath as a way of anchoring your attention in the present moment. When you start to feel that the mind is calmer, more focused, more spacious, and try to set a broad, virtuous motivation.
thinking about our relationship to all sentient beings. Well, we're completely dependent on sentient beings for our spiritual growth, development. Well, the most productive, useful thing that we can do is to work for the benefit of all sentient beings without exception. Just in whatever way you can think that the purpose of your time isn't only for your own benefit, but for the benefit of countless other sentient beings. And then we'll engage in a meditation where we try to cultivate gratitude. This will be similar to the meditation on rejoicing and the meditation on the kindness of other sentient beings, but we're really going to emphasize the individual benefits that we have received from sentient beings and how they impact us. Trying to open our hearts more to being benefited. and the role that that has played in our lives. So we start by thinking about our parents. Our mother experienced a lot of hardship and discomfort during pregnancy, childbirth, probably tried to eat the right foods, get the right amount of rest, following her doctor's advice, giving up things that she enjoyed, and then when we were born, we were given food and shelter, protected. And as we grew, again, we were fed and clothed. Our education was looked after. Our first words, our first social interactions, our understanding of sharing and kindness.
all came from our parents. So try to make examples from your own life about all of the benefits that you've received from your biological parents or whoever played the role of caregiver. And if any tension or resistance arises, just try to relate to that energy with forgiveness. We gravitate toward any mistakes. Recognize that we make mistakes every day. So try to cultivate a sense of forgiveness and really move back into just emphasizing the benefits. Try to see how the life that you have now is directly related to the benefits that you received from your parents and are still receiving perhaps from your parents. And think about everything that you've learned in your life. More so right now, kind of the worldly things, how to drive, how to read, how to write, your knowledge of the world, the skills that you use or it use in your careers. All of the teachers that you've had in your life. 
gave you the skills and the abilities to be successful. How different your life might be. How all of those kind people So you can go back through your memory and pick out moments or people that were really impactful, that really shaped how your life turned out, the things that they taught you how to do. And just really allow that to touch your heart, feel grateful. And think about all of the services that you have benefited from over the course of your life. Every building, every road, every house, everything that's been built, it's been built by someone else. everything that we use, our clothes, our bed, all of the food 
that we've ever eaten, all of the water that we've ever consumed. Every time that we need expertise, there's someone in the world that has trained in that. And we can think of the people who are right now putting their own lives on the line to help us access what we need Make a number of examples of all of the benefits that we receive from the efforts of countless other sentient beings. We can try to feel that your heart just opens to their benefit. as if, trying to think as if they specifically intended to benefit you. Try to feel that every sentient being that you received benefit from actually meant specifically just to work for your benefit. And try to feel how grateful you are. Now think about spiritual teachers that have impacted your life. Any teachers that you've made a connection with or whose teachings you've benefited from. And try to think specifically about the ways in which that has shaped or changed positively influenced your life. What do those relationships, those teachings mean to you? 
what results, benefits flow from those relationships, or even just books, videos that have benefited you. So in, in whatever way you can, think about refuge, the proper reliance, but just in whatever way is authentic for you, really connect with that benefit. Feeling incredibly grateful to have met a spiritual guide who can show you how to tap into your highest potential. Then we'll come back together. Then we'll dedicate. So, keeping with the energy of gratitude, we cultivate an open, generous, grateful mind that offers the fruit of our practice for the benefit of all sentient beings. Thank you, may it ripen in whatever way is best for my own spiritual growth and development so that I can put an end to my own suffering, but also so that I can work more and more effectively for the benefit of all. May it serve as a cause for those spiritual guides that I've been benefited by to remain to work for the benefit of sentient beings and have all obstacles completely removed. Thank you.